Hey everybody, this is Jerome from Luniverse, and today I'm going to be continuing my Wacken journey. I, the next song on the list will be Story Time. Um, the last song I listened to was Ghost River, and I enjoyed it a lot when I just kept listening to the song over and over the past couple days, and the lyrics are very, very powerful, actually. I didn't know that when I was really originally listening to it, I just knew that Marco's voice sounded amazing, but hearing the context, uh, reading the context behind the lyrics and actually understanding what he's singing or forcing it, it was really great. So hopefully story time's along the same route, but it'll probably be different, but every song's different and every song is great so far. So I'm just genuinely excited to get started, but you guys can like, comment, subscribe. Um, one of my subscribers had me start a Patreon, so you guys can donate there if you want. If you don't, it's okay. I just, as long as you guys are watching and commenting, that's all that really matters to me because this has been so much fun lately but let's get into story time and continue our journey i'm kind of sad because i started counting today and i have seven songs left i've done eight songs already so i'm already over halfway done so i'm a little sad but excited to get on to the next journey but let's get let's get going into the story time i think it's time for a little story it's definitely story time I love the energy starting off with the song. They, they're, everybody's into it. The music seems very straightforward, powerful. Floor is going off with the head twirl. I don't have any hair, so I can't. Uh, I like the way that the verse came together. I enjoyed how um, Impu stopped playing and just Marco was playing bass, so it was very bass driven. And then when they turned around to the second part of the measure, then the guitar kicked back in and that made it sound better to me. It sounded very good.
I'm liking the song so far. It seems like everything's very well put together. Like nothing's overshadowing anything. Everything's working perfectly with Flora's voice and the song, like everything's accenting her voice. Nothing's trying to go over her. It's allowing her to really sing and get her voice out. And I just wonder how Tumas feels. He's smiling the whole song while he's sitting back thinking, look at this masterpiece I've made. Look, look at it. That's why I would be smiling the whole time too. But the song's great so far. She can really, really, really sing. Like, I hear her sing all these songs, and this song, she sounds different. I had to look to make sure it was her. She's, like, her opera levels are crazy to me. I don't listen to uh, any kind of classical music, so when I hearing her do it, it sounds amazing, and she fits it in perfectly. Uh, right before that, Yuka was doing, like, a floor tom thing, like, doom, 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 and that was pretty cool, too. It left you just, like, bang into the beat. That was story time and it was definitely worth the wait. It, it sounds like something I should have heard before, like it should have been playing on the radio, like rock radio stations. I'm very surprised that I've never heard it before. Um, something before I forget that I really enjoy is their, everybody's like uh, stage presence, their interactions with each other. They're so friendly and you could tell they're just having a great time. They're like, I'm up here with my best friend, like you can. Marco were on stage right next to each other, rocking out like their best friend. You could see they're just having the most fun. But that was story time. I really enjoyed that song. I'm not sure what the next song is, but I'm going to begin to it as soon as possible. Um, 
I'm enjoying this more than anything and yeah, it's a whole lot of fun.